welcome little friends. My name is Shalini and I'm here with another interesting session in which we will learn with fun and know about data handling. So let's start chapter number 11, data handling from the book Joyful Maths class 2. In this part, we will learn about data through our favorite colors, picnic, pictures, games, charts, tables and some puzzles. So, let's start with favorite colors. Here is a picture in which there are some children who are wearing clothes of different colors of their choice. Some are wearing yellow, red, some green and some blue. Like these children, you too have a favorite color. Think about it. Now, what you have to do is that there is a table related to the picture. The four columns of the colors row are red, green, blue, yellow and the next four columns of the number of children are empty. You have to tell the number of children of different colors and write it in these four boxes. So look at the picture and see, hmm, only one child is wearing red color. So you have to write in the table, number of children wearing red color is one. And number of children wearing green color is three. Blue color is four and yellow color is two. Now based on this table, you have to answer some easy questions like A. The most liked color is, let's see the table, mm, blue. Blue is the color because four children are wearing blue color. Now B. The least liked color is, let's see, mm, only one child is wearing red color, so answer is red. C. Yellow color is liked more than dash. Tell me which color? Again, red color. Now again, you have to answer these two different questions on your own. Now, you really had a lot of fun playing with these colorful pictures. Let's have a picnic now. Look, here is a picture of some children enjoying picnic. In this picture, all the children are eating different fruits. Some are eating apples, some are eating oranges, some are eating guavas and some are eating kiwis. Now, let us complete this table related to this picture and fill in the blanks. There are two rows in this table. Each row has five columns. In the first column of the first row, fruit is written. And next, in all four columns, different fruits are given. Like orange, apple, kiwi and guava. In the first column of the second row, number of children is written and all other four columns are blank. Now keeping this table in mind, you have to answer some questions like A. How many children are there in the picture? Hmm? Look at the picture. Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 is the answer. B. Number of children who like apples is, tell me, let us count again, one, two. Only two children are eating apples. C. Most liked fruit is, let's see the picture, mm, three are eating guava, two are eating apples, two oranges, and one is eating kiwi and five are eating banana. So the answer is banana. Most liked fruit is banana. Now rest of the questions you have to answer. So you see, 
how easy and interesting it can be to learn and work with data. You have to share this learning with your friends also. And now it's time to discuss the picture. Here is a picture of the school surroundings in the morning in which children are coming to school in different vehicles and on foot too. There is also a table given next to it, which has been divided into two parts. On the left hand side, the modes of coming to school are written like on foot, auto rickshaw, bicycle, motorcycle and school bus. And on the right side, the number of students is written. Number of students coming to school on foot is given 8. Let us count by looking at the picture. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Similarly, the number of children coming from auto rickshaw is, mm, let us count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now look at other vehicles and count the number of students and complete the table. So we have learned how to fill in the table through pictures and work with data. Now by looking at this table, we will make a chart. Read the table and draw faces in the chart to show the number of students coming to school by different vehicles or mode of transport. One face is equal to one student. Look at the chart and fill in the blanks. The chart has two parts. On one side, the number of children are given vertically and on the other side, the modes of coming to school are given horizontally. Eight faces have been made on the mode on foot and according to the table, the number of children coming on foot is also eight. So, eight faces are correct. Similarly, tell me how many faces will be created in place of auto rickshaw and cycle and bike and bus. You count and write. When the chart is complete, answer these questions. A. Most number of students come to school by dash. You see the picture and count the number of students and write your answer. Okay, I'll help you. 12 students come by bus. Alright, B. Least number of students come to school by dash. Let's see the picture. Answer is bike. All right, next, C. The number of students who come to school using bus is dash less than or more than the number of students who come using auto rickshaw. The answer is less than. D. The number of students who come to school using bike is dash more than or less than the number of students who come using bicycle? The answer is less because five students are coming by bicycle which is more than the number of students using bike. Now you have to answer these two remaining questions. So dear friends, did you enjoy it? Learning mathematics is not as difficult as you think. So enjoy these fun activities with your friends and family to revise this chapter and share your experiences with your teacher.